what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it if you have still not subscribed <laughs> and if you like this video after watching till the end then please click the thumbs up and if you are interested in doing some donation for the sustenance of this channel then the link to paypal is there in the description below all right what are we going to discuss today it's a very gloomy day today <laughs> the sun is not visible it's winter time in europe and the days of the sun will not appear anymore <laughs> it's all dark now the sun rises at around 7 7 30 and by five o'clock it's pitch dark it's very dark here so that is why i thought why not make a video on overcoming darkness the playlist which i started in september when i was in munich in germany therefore what is today's topic today's topic is the first symptom of atheism why have i given this title because this is related to the topic overcoming darkness because if this symptom is there in you you will always be in darkness you can never come out of darkness what is the first symptom of atheism the first symptom of atheism well before beginning <laughs> because it's a video on atheism so i must say right god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you to come out from your darkness so basically what is atheism atheism is <coughs> It's very simple. There's no complicacy about atheism. Atheism is just the meaning that you do not believe in the existence of a higher power, of God. You believe that there is no controller above you. You believe that you are all in all. You do not believe that this universe is functioning as per the instructions of somebody. You think there's nobody. It's just functioning by itself, by choice. Well, that means you are an atheist. But I am not going to discuss on those lines today. Today my topic is to know if you are actually an atheist. Yes, you may say you are a believer of God. But does it truly apply to you? Or are you an atheist? <laughs> do you just say that God exists or do you actually believe in it? Let's test it. <laughs> The first symptom of atheism is you fear fear what? Anything. You just have fear. You fear something. You fear what if I lose my job? What if I lose my partner? What if my friends leave me? What if my son dies? What if my mother dies? What if this happens? What if, what if that happens? That is the first symptom that you do not have this faith in God that whatever is happening to me is the best thing that can happen to me. Should I repeat? <laughs> whatever is happening to me right now is the best thing that can happen to me. You do not have faith on those lines. You still try to interpret this world as what you think with your tiny fund of intelligence. We try to interpret it as what we think is good for us and bad for us. Many times I have seen people breaking off from relationships which were never giving them any satisfaction. Why were they staying in that relationship? Just because they wanted to pretend to themselves that they have somebody. Pretend to themselves, yes. This tendency comes from the great personality not the that so great personality <laughs> but still a great personality in the Mahabharat his name is Dhritarashtra we all know Dhritarashtra he was the king who silently watched all the controversies which his sons the Kauravas hatched against the virtuous and the noble Pandavas and he didn't speak a word he allowed everything to go on even though when he had the power to stop it so 
he was always pretending to himself no no i am a good person i am not that bad <laughs> he used to pretend that nobody understands that he is a bad person he used to pretend that no no nobody thinks i am a bad person everybody thinks i am a good person but everybody knew who was who was supporting whom so sometimes people to pretend to themselves that no no you are not alone you see you have somebody don't worry there is somebody with you don't worry they are there as in hindi they say koi to hai <laughs> and another reason could be they wanted to show to others that look i have i have this person you don't have she has he has i also have there you go <laughs> either you want to show to your, pretend to yourself that you have somebody or you want to show others that i have somebody just like you have why not me i also have what you have yes and who do not have you will try to show of them look 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 i have this girl she is so beautiful look look look, look my boyfriend is so rich he gives me these gifts in the day in my birthday he gifted me this he gifted me that yes so many girls i know the moment i meet them they'll just start talking of their boyfriends <laughs> oh my boyfriend did this my boyfriend did that madam sometimes talk about yourself also <laughs> but you do not have anything to speak about yourself that is why you have to drag your boyfriends all the time yes it's not their fault <laughs> <laughs> so what i am saying is sometimes you will see that there are terrible challenges difficulties <coughs> that you face which from your tiny fund of intelligence from your perspective is perhaps the worst thing that can happen to you like there's a separation within within the relationship there's a breakup or there's a divorce or there's a break in the engagement the engagement doesn't lead to marriage to the wedding or you're fired from the job <laughs> these are terrible things that can happen terrible as per our definitions of good and bad but the question is do we still have that faith that even if that is happening to me even if the worst thing that is happening to me is there still a divine purpose do you have that faith if you have it that's it if you do not have you may be chanting a thousand million mantras you may be the best worshipper of lord vishnu or lord shiva or jesus or allah or guru nanak or whoever it is i don't care but i'm sorry sir you are an atheist this is the litmus test because the scriptures entitle us to our free will and the scriptures tell us that when we use our free will in a way which pleases god when we try to serve him when we try to follow the lines which he wanted us to follow how do you know that by reading the scriptures of course then he blesses us and then apparently those things which seem to be very terrible they can also be the most beautiful things that could ever happen to us now sometimes it happens in our life that after 10 years we look back and see oh because of that only i am here now that is okay that everybody can do that in future and everybody can justify yeah whatever happens happens for good but my point is when the disaster happens at that time what is your consciousness that defines because after 10 years you can always justify okay i had a breakup with this girl uh, that is why um, i started focusing on my studies so i got a job in microsoft and i became a very i started going to the gym i started developing my body my muscles i became very handsome you can always justify it right after 10 years okay okay maybe because of this that happened because of that this happened that anybody can do <laughs> because irrespective of whatever happens on a mundane level there will be some outcome for example if you have broken off from a relationship you can't just sit idle 24 hours you will maybe hit the gym you will maybe 
do and go, go and catch up some new hobby and then you can always justify later oh yes 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 because of this that happened like people say during sare sati i'll discuss in detail about sare sati later or when a saturn's time period which is dasha in vedic astrology is running during that time they are in depression but as soon as they come out of it something will happen and they will say oh now i understand this was the purpose actually that anybody can do <laughs> anybody can justify after seven and a half years of saturn's cycle nearby the moon that oh yes that was a great time but the question is during that time what was your consciousness that distinguishes you and other people <laughs> are you a conditional follower of god conditional follower means you will only worship god you will only follow him till the time your materialistic needs are met <laughs> the moment there is a pinch there you will be like oh you don't exist it seems you never existed <laughs> and whenever something good materially happens to you you just forget him you just say that i have nothing to do with you <laughs> for example there are many people who when they undergo some breakup they will go and uh, go, go to the temple and they will ask the pujari can you give me a mala i just want to chant some mantra om namah shivaya 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 <laughs> and the moment after two months they will start pursuing another girl and then they will fall in love they will get into the, into the relationship and then oh which temple which mala which lord shiva i don't know anybody <laughs> so these are called conditional followers there you go but we have the examples in the scriptures we have examples of the pandavas they are the perfect examples of course there are thousands of examples which i can give from the shrimad bhagavatam but mahabharat is more prominently known in india and in many parts of the world that is why i quote the examples from mahabharat and ramayan especially especially mahabharat the pandavas in the battle of kurukshetra they lost all of their sons the only person who was alive was babrubahan babrubahan was the son of arjuna and his wife chitrangada who did not take part in the war arjuna's son from subhadra from ulupi and from dropadi all three were killed in the war abhimanyu was mercilessly killed iravan was dead and then dropadi's son was killed by ashwatthama later terrible it is bhima lost his son ghatotkach <laughs> nothing remained with them they lost everything after the kurukshetra war the only person who was remaining was parikshit who was the son of abhimanyu and uttara but still they did not ask lord krishna how could you do this to us <laughs> can you imagine lord krishna is personally standing sitting talking eating with them still they didn't ask draupadi was insulted in public but she did not ask krishna that how could you let this happen to me i don't find any instance in the mahabharat they never said and then we have the examples in some countries and when i am saying country i do not mean that country i am not meaning that gender i am not meaning those group of people do not take this as an insult to that country i am just giving some examples here to illustrate that point after the world war many women in germany <laughs> they became atheists yes why because oh god didn't protect our husbands <laughs> so that shows that all these women they are conditional followers their conception of spirituality is bound within the material realm what if kunti the mother of the pandavas started asking krishna oh my god how can you do like this but she didn't do 
instead queen kunti does the opposite <laughs> if you read the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam there's a beautiful chapter there teachings of queen kunti in that she says give me more calamities <laughs> this is the most insane of all prayers i have read till now it's insane actually and this is this is not externally a great yogi or a great sanyasi speaking this is apparently a household married lady speaking who is engrossed in the mundane affairs of the government royalty controversy scandal murder abuse all these things that happened with the pandavas she is externally related to all those things as a royal mother but look what she is praying and that is why she is there in the pages of the shrimad bhagavatam there you see <laughs> nobody else there are very few ladies whose prayers are there in the bhagavatam and kunti is one of them beautiful it is <laughs> so there you go the first symptom of atheism do you believe that whatever is happening to me is the best thing that can happen or do you think that no 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 god is not there if he if he is there how can this happen to me so that is it from my side it is up to you to decide are you an atheist or are you not if you are there will be no fear in your head you will be completely fearless there you see you decide now are you fearful or are you fearless <laughs> to the degree you are fearful of anything in this world to that degree you are an atheist and to the degree you are fearless to that degree you are a strong follower you have strong belief in the existence of the almighty i don't care what religion you are having <laughs> irrespective of your religion whichever tradition you are following i am not asking you are a hindu or a muslim this is universal for everybody ladies and gentlemen the first and the only symptom of atheism and many more to come all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments regarding this video or any other video then please let me know in the comments all right and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with everybody else until next time wish you good luck with your atheistic pursuits <laughs> bye bye see you